a simple version of a cost, revenue, and profit function can, can be fairly linear. Your cost function, let's all call this C of X, where X is our number of units. Cost functions typically consist of set or fixed costs, building rent, uh, perhaps utilities. So let's say the cost, the fixed costs are $5,000 a month. And then you're producing something, you're, I don't know, building birdhouses. And the cost of making one birdhouse with the wood and the nails and the paint and the glue and labor is perhaps uh, $10 a piece. So because this is a unit cost, that would be 10 times X. So the total cost for a month, if you produce no birdhouses, would be $5,000. If you make one birdhouse, it would be 5,010. Two would be $5,020 and so on and so forth. Your revenue function is strictly a unit cost. Let's say that you pay, you sell these birdhouses for $20 a piece. So if you sell zero of them, it's zero. If you sell one, it's 20. You sell two, you get $40. 10 of them, you get $200. So that is a unit amount, 20 times the number of units. And profit, profit is always your revenue minus your cost. It's the difference between what you take in and what you had to spend to get there. So it's the revenue, how much money you take in minus the cost. And 90% of the times when somebody makes a mistake on this, it is because they didn't carry this negative through. Your profit is $20 times the number of units minus the $5,000 fixed cost you have minus the $10 per unit that it costs to make. So you're actually making a profit of 20X minus 10X would be 10 dollars per unit minus the $5,000 in fixed costs. A break even point A break even point is when your costs are equal to your revenue, or you could think of it as when your profit was zero, which is actually going to be the same thing. If I set the profit function equal to zero, if I've got 10x minus 5,000 equals zero, and I add 5,000 to each side, then my profit per birdhouse has to be $5,000 just for me to break even, which means if I divide by 10, I'm gonna get X equals 500, So I would have to make and sell 500 birdhouses just to take care of the $5,000 fixed cost here. That's a lot of birdhouses. If we decided that we had to have, 
I don't know, $1,000 a month off of the birdhouses, that our profit needed to be $1,000 a month. Then we could set the 10X minus 5,000 equal to 1,000. So we want the profit to equal $1,000. Add the 5,000 to both sides. So in order to make $1,000 a month profit, we have to actually sell $6,000 worth of birdhouses and at $10 a piece, that would be 600 birdhouses. So maybe we might decide to either increase what we're asking for the birdhouses. Perhaps we could find a way to decrease our costs. Maybe instead of having this building that's costing us $5,000 a month, we could just give that up and start making them in the shed in the backyard. So, Linear uh, equations can be used in a lot of situations to give us an idea of our cost, revenue, and profit function. It's in a simplified version, but it's actually pretty usable.